From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good morning, South Florida. I'm Gio Insignares. Here's a look at your top stories on this Friday. First, jurors in the Parkland shooter trial getting a chance to tour the preserved crime scene. The panel made a stop at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Thursday, seeing firsthand the bloodbath left behind inside that school building. Jurors then returned to the courtroom to hear more heartbreaking stories as the final remaining Parkland families read their impact statements. The prosecution has now rested its case. Of course, court will be back in session on August 15th before the jury returns on the 22nd. Only on 10, a violent brawl between two families at the beach in Hollywood, leaving one person unconscious. The victim's wife says it started when she tried taking her grandson to the bathroom, but people inside were blocking others from using it, causing a fight to break out. The victim, Wilbert Nordars, tells us he does not remember much of what happened. Police are now searching for the people behind the attack. Now to a safety alert, police in Pembroke Pines looking for a teenager who they say exposed himself to a mother and child. The victim was walking along Southwest 6th Street last Thursday when she says the teen followed her for several blocks before exposing himself in front of her and her child. Police are searching for the person seen in this picture taken by the victim. Detectives believe he's about 14 years old. If you know anything about this case, give police a call. A Miami attorney who has dedicated his life to protecting rape victims is now under arrest, accused of committing the very same crime. 39-year-old Adam Baer is charged with sexual battery and false imprisonment. The 24-year-old victim says she, he assaulted her and held her against her will in his Edgewater apartment. Police want to hear from anyone who believes they were also a victim. Now, don't forget, as breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Just head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.